find a comfortable seat and let's sit cross leg to start you can relax the hands on the thighs sit the spine up nice and tall relax the shoulders close the eyes and just take a moment to quiet down and tune in notice any sensations any thoughts any emotions that are appearing in your experience. Let's take a full breath in through the nose, fill up the belly and the lungs. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Again, big inhale, fill up your body. Big exhale, let it go. Take the biggest breath of the morning right here. Sip it in all the way to the top. Hold it. Sip in a little more. Let it go. And then you can just start to find a natural breath here in and out of the nose. Welcome the breath to be steady and gentle, smooth. And then we'll open the eyes. We'll do a couple preparations to get us set up for this class. So Option to stay in cross-legged, or you can take gomukasana legs by crossing the right leg all the way over the left, so we're stacking right knee on top of the left. And then again, cross-legged is a fine place to sit. Then we'll bring our right arm behind our head, so imagine you're trying to pat yourself on the back. So the palm is coming between the shoulder blades as much as you can get it. I have very limited mobility in my shoulders, so I like to use a strap here. So you can bring your strap, your shirt, your sock into your right hand, and then the left hand will sneak around. And so it's like the back of the hand is now coming to meet that right, those right fingertips. So maybe your fingertips can touch here, or maybe you use a strap. And I'll show you the, the back of you here. We're just getting a little bit of opening through the shoulders. We will be binding today, so just getting warmed up for that. Press your head back into your arm. Let's take a full breath in and a full breath out. Again, breathe in here and full breath out. Last inhale. And then exhale, gently release the arms. You can roll the shoulders back a little bit if there's any tension. And then we'll switch the cross of the legs if you're taking the Gomukhasana leg variation. So let's switch it up. Left leg on top of right now. Left leg on top of right. You can hug the heels in towards the bum. Sit the spine nice and tall. And now we'll bring the left hand to pat yourself on the back. So palm between the shoulder blades or fingertips. And then that right hand sneaks around the back. Maybe our fingertips can connect here. This side is even less mobile for me. So I'm definitely going to use a strap here. Then you can press the head back, lift the chest nice and long through the spine. Let's take a full breath in and a full breath out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more full inhale and exhale to release. Shake it out, roll those shoulders out, and then let's bring the legs to a butterfly position, soles of the feet together, knees wide, and let's just get a little eagle arm to counter that. So right arm under, left arm over, press the forearms together, or you can clasp the hands together. And then let's press the forearms away from you, lift the elbows. Maybe there's even a little round in the upper back, so breathe into that space between the shoulder blades. 
Take a full breath in, keep reaching elbows up, and a full breath out. Breathe in here. And then exhale to unwind. You might open up through the chest. Second side, we'll bring left arm under right, left arm under right. This one's even more immobile for me, so you might even just press the forearms together. And then we'll lift the elbows up. We'll press the forearms away. Breathe in here, into that space between the shoulder blades. And full breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Keep the elbows lifting. One more inhale, a little bit of rounding in the upper back. And exhale, unwind. Roll those shoulders back. And then let's find a tabletop position, hands and knees. Now from tabletop, you can wiggle the hips side to side. Just take a moment to move organically. And then right knee, lift it out to the side like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Extend the right leg and then plant that right foot down. So we're in tabletop with an inner thigh emphasis. From here, we'll cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck the chin, round the spine. In, inhale, cow pose, soft belly, heart forward. Exhale, cat press in, round. Maybe a couple more here on your own. Mashing breath and movement, just feeling in where is your body at this morning. And then keep that right leg right where it is, extended, but find that nice neutral spine. We'll reach the left arm up to the sky, take a full breath in, and then thread the needle. Loop that left arm under the right. Bring the back of the left arm down, the back of the hand down. Little thread the needle stretch here. Option to stay right here, or you might reach your right arm up, or maybe you bind your right arm around the small of your back and even catch your inner left thigh. Keep pressing back of the left hand down, Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, release that right arm if you had it blinded. And one more exhale. Inhale, press through the right hand, reach that left arm up. And back to tabletop, hand down, tuck the right knee back in, shake it out if you need. And then second side. So we'll fire hydrant that left side, left knee out to the left, extend the leg and plant the foot. And then from here, a couple of cat cows on your own, just matching breath and movement, working through the spine here, working through the inner thighs as we warm up. And then we'll meet back in our neutral We'll root down through the left hand, right arm reaches up, breathe in, thread the needle, loop that right arm under the left, press the back of the right hand down, back of the right arm down. Option to stay right here, or we can lift the left arm up and bind it around the small of the back. Maybe we even catch the right front of the thigh or the inner thigh with the hand. Then just find your breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. Full inhale. And full exhale. Last breath here. Remove the bind if you had it. And full breath out. Inhale, reach that right arm back up. And exhale, return to tabletop, hands and knees. Tuck the toes underneath the feet, spread the fingers wide, press the ground away, and then downward facing dog, send the hips high. Anything you need here, pedal it out, bend into one knee at a time. Really press those hips back as we open up through the back of the legs. We're gonna start moving and breathing here. Don't you worry. From downward facing dog, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, and fold, breathe out. Stand up, reach up, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up, breath and movement, find your rhythm. 
Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Inhale, stand and reach, adding on. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, reach, steady breath. Exhale, empty the lungs, full forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, step the right foot back, low lunge. You're on your fingertips. One breath in, the chest is a little bit lifted. Down dog, exhale, step back. Plank pose, inhale, roll forward. All the way down, exhale to your belly, stretch the arms back. Locust pose, inhale, float the hands, the chest, the feet. Exhale, down dog, plant the hands, hips back. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through, get that foot up there. One breath in low lunge, spine is long. Step to the top, exhale, fold. Half lift, breathe in, fold, breathe out. Stand up, reach up, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale, left leg leads now. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Half lift, breathe in, left foot back, exhale, low lunge on the fingertips. One inhale, knee stacked above ankle. Down dog, exhale, step it back. Plank pose, inhale, smooth roll forward. All the way down as you exhale. Again, locust pose, inhale to stretch back, float the chest, hover above the mat. Down dog, exhale, hips high. Left leg up, breathe in. Step it through, exhale, get that foot up there. One breath in, spine long. Step to the top, breathe out. Half lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Stand up, reach up, breathe in. Hands to heart, exhale. Little different now, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift, breathe in. Right foot back, right knee down, exhale. Arms up, inhale, kneeling crescent lunge. Exhale, down dog, step it back. Plank pose, inhale, roll forward. All the way down, exhale. Cobra pose, inhale to press the ground away, lift the chest any amount. Down dog, exhale, press the hips back. Right leg up, breathe in. Step it through, exhale, back knee down. Inhale, rise, reach to the fingers. Exhale, hands down, step to the top. Half lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Stand up, reach up, breathe in. Hands to heart, exhale, last side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold, soft knees. Half lift, breathe in. Left foot back, left knee down, exhale. Arms up, breathe in, Anjane Asana. Down dog, exhale, step back. Plank pose, inhale, roll. All the way down, exhale, sphinx pose, elbows under the shoulders. As you inhale, pull the chest forward. Forearm plank, exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, thighs, hips, belly, ribs. Take a full breath here, press the ground away. Stay for your exhale, strong core. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lower back down to Sphinx Pose. Inhale, heart pulls forward. Down dog, exhale, hips back. Left leg up, breathe in. Step it through, breathe out. Back knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, step to the top. Just warming up here. Halfway lift, breathe in. 
and fold, breathe out. Stand up, reach up, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale, just one sun A. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, exhale, low push up. Upward facing dog, inhale, straight arms, pull the heart forward. Down dog, exhale. Take a moment to breathe. Let that energy of moving, breath to movement, settle in your body. And then as we move through our sequences, try to keep that breath just as steady and alive as we just did in our salutations. Know that anytime I say vinyasa or flow, that can mean taking chaturanga, it can mean taking a cobra, an up dog, a locust pose. So just listen to your body breath by breath. Inhale to gaze forward. Exhale to travel to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. And fold, breathe out. Heel toe the feet wide enough for malasana, yogi squat. And then let's sink the bum between the heels. You can bring hands to heart center. Use the elbows to press the thighs gently open. Lift through the chest. Take a full breath in. Boat pose, exhale, butt down, feet up. Reach the fingertips forward. Option to have the legs bent or straight. Do something with the feet, point them or flex them. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out, squeeze the thighs together. Inhale, low boat, lower to a hover. Back to high boat, exhale, rise. Three times like that. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, high. Inhale, low. Exhale, high. Once more, inhale, hover. Exhale, rise back up, hold one breath in. And then exhale, forward fold. Plant the feet, let's sit the butt back up and bow forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Step the left foot back, left foot back, left knee down. Anjaneyasana, inhale to rise. And then exhale, hands to hips. Let's think about lifting the front rim of the pelvis up. So we get a little bit of length in the tailbone. Feel that opening through the front of the back leg. Take one more breath here, lift through the chest. Half splits. Exhale to frame the front foot. Shift the hips back as you straighten out the leg. And then let's flex that front foot. Always option to bend the knee here if hamstrings are feeling a little bit tight. Or you can bring blocks underneath the hands so the ground's a little bit closer to you. And then press down strongly through your right heel. And there's no movement here, but there's the action of gently dragging back. So that'll light the back of the legs up a little bit more so we can strengthen as we stretch. Let's take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Bring that right hand to the right foot. And let's just move it a little bit out to the right. I might have moved mine about eight inches or so. And now both hands are in inside of that right foot. So we're in an offset, off-centered half splits, which brings the emphasis more to the inner thighs. Breathe in here. And full breath out, folding forward as much as it works for you. We'll take one more inhale, lift through the chest. As you exhale, bend into the front knee, lizard pose. So you can keep the back knee down. I like to have my right foot turned out a little bit or even the ball of the foot off the mat and the heel on the mat. Option to bring the forearms down if that works for you. Maybe you even sneak that right arm underneath the right leg. So I have my, my hand sort of towards the outside of my right foot. And let's breathe in here. And full exhale. I like to think about the front heel and the back knee gently pulling towards one another so it's a little more active. Let's take one more breath in. And exhale, bring the hands back into center if you took it to the side. Inhale, press back up to both hands. Exhale, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. 
We're here, one inhale, and then exhale, step to the top of the mat, forward fold, you can shake out that right leg. Halfway lift, breathe in. Then second side, step the right foot back, bring the right knee down. Anjaneyasana, inhale to reach the arms up. Hands to hips as you breathe out. And then I like hands to hips to get a little bit of feedback here. Lengthen the tailbone down, lift through the front hip points, nice opening through the right thigh, front of the leg. Breathe in, float the chest. Half splits, exhale, frame the front foot, shift the hips back, straighten out that leg. And then let's flex the foot, press the heel down, and gently pull back. So we want to start to feel the back of the leg lighting up a little bit more as we stretch here. Lift the chest as you breathe in. Imagine you're reaching chest towards the toes. Softening breath out. Left hand grabs left foot and let's move it a little bit over to the left. Off centered half splits here. So both hands on the inside of that leg, folding any amount. Keep breathing here. And breathing out. And take one more inhale. Let's find a little bit of length in the spine. And then lizard, exhale to bend into the front knee. Hands down here. And then maybe we even start to bring the forearms down if that feels okay for you. Maybe we play with rocking that left hand or the left arm underneath the left leg. And breathing. We'll slowly bring both hands back into center. Come back up to both hands if you're on the forearms. We'll tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Downward facing dog this time, step back. Inhale, plank pose, roll forward. Optional vinyasa or head back to downward facing dog. Moving with the breath. The next sequence, we will be using our strap if you have a little bit less shoulder mobility. So from downward facing dog, inhale the right leg high. And exhale, step the right foot up between the hands. You can grab your strap or your shirt or your sock with you. Bring the left heel down, warrior two, rise up. So in warrior two, let's bring that strap to the left hand if we are gonna use that for our bind. And then let's try to create a half bind here. So with the left arm, we can run the small of the back. Maybe we can even hook that left hand to the right inner thigh. Stretch that right arm forward. Take a full breath here, warrior two and a full breath out. Inhale to stretch fingertips forward, side angle pose, keeping the half bind or hand to hip. So let's bring the right hand to fingertips or palm on the inside of the right foot. You can always bring right elbow to thigh if that works better for you. Keep the spine long here, chest broad. Option to bend the right elbow and sneak that right arm underneath the right thigh. So maybe we can catch on to the left fingertips or maybe we need to grab the strap. Take a full breath in and a full breath out, chest still spinning open. One more inhale here, press through the feet. Bow in triangle pose, slowly start to straighten the front leg out. Can we keep the bind here? Breathe in, strong in the thighs, strong in the core. And then we'll gently release to wide leg forward fold, let go of the strap, let go of the bind, curl the hands into the center here. Feet parallel, maybe a little bend in the knees, and you can sway side to side, relax the neck and the head. And then skandhasana, back of the mat. Let's bend deep into that left knee, Flex the right foot, toes point up to the ceiling. Option to bring that heel down. Option to bind here if you have a bind in your skandhasana. 
And your skandasana might even look a little bit higher, just depending on flexibility in the knee this morning. I know it's raining in Austin, so that always gives me some knee troubles. Let's take a full breath in in skandasana. Can you float the chest higher? And then exhale, low lunge, top of your mat, crawl forward to frame the front foot. Take one breath, low lunge. Vinyasa or skip it, exhale to step back and lower. Second side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Grab your strap if you're gonna use it for our binding. Warrior two, rise up. Straps in the right hand now. Let's bind right arm around the small of the back. Maybe we can even catch the inner thigh here. So then can we keep that bend in the front knee, the nice level hips, long spine. Stretch that front arm forward. Take a full breath in. Full breath out, focused. Inhale to reach forward. Side angle pose, exhale left hand or fingertips to the inside of the left foot or whatever variation you need here. And then we'll play with coming into a full bind so you can bend the left elbow and then we can start to sneak left arm under the left leg. Maybe we catch on to the right hand here. And then notice if you start to round in can we keep that right shoulder rolling back in the chest opening? Take a full breath in, press through the feet. Slowly move into Trikonasana, bound triangle pose. Always option to take these shapes without the bind, just so you know. Take a full breath in, chest still proud. And then exhale, unwind to wide leg forward fold. Relax the neck and the head. You might sway side to side. And then skandasana back of the mat, deep bend into that right knee, then flex the left foot, point those toes up towards the ceiling. And then here versus rounding in, can we try to get that chest nice and proud? Option to bind in skandasana if you have it, I don't have it. Opening up through inner thighs. Take a full breath in, lengthen through the spine. Low lunge, top of the mat, crawl the hands forward to frame the front foot. One breath in, vinyasa or skip it. And then know that child's pose is always an option, always. From down dog, inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Warrior one, back heel down, inhale, rise. Release the hands behind the back as you breathe out. Interlace the fingers. And again, if we can't interlace the fingers here, that's what we have our strap, our sock, our shirt for. All right, so reach those knuckles down, open through the chest. Take a full breath in. Press strongly through your front foot and let's hinge forward as we exhale. Option to keep this bind with the fingertips or any other expression as we float into warrior three. So shift the weight into that front foot. Let's start to hop the back leg up, keeping the hips level here, left and right in line. Reach the left heel back, stretch the crown of the head forward. Hug the navel in. Take a full breath in, warrior three, your arm variation, and a full breath out. One more inhale. And then gently step back to a high lunge, ball of the foot down. Breathe in, reach the knuckles down. And then reverse namaskar with the hands. So maybe you can take a reverse prayer here, bringing the fingers and the palms to touch. If you feel really comfortable with this shape, you'll take it into a pyramid pose. This shape does not happen for me in a pyramid pose, so I'll be bringing my hands to my hips instead. Take one breath in, pyramid, exhale, straighten the front leg, bow forward. If you have that reverse namaskar, use it to your advantage to get the shoulder opening. If you don't have that mobility in the shoulders, you can keep hands to hips or release the fingertips to the ground or to objects. Drive down through the front foot, gently pull it back. 
Can we bring that right hip back a little bit, the left hip forward to level up the pelvis. Take a full breath in, a little bit of lift through the chest. Softening, exhale. One more breath in here. Release the reverse prayer if you took it, hands down. Inhale, last time we lengthen. Vinyasa, exhale, hands down. You can step back to down dog or maybe you flow through. Second side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Bring the back heel down, warrior one. Inhale, rise. And exhale, release the hands behind the back. Option to take the funky grip this time as you interlace the fingers. Again, you can always use strap or other thing to get the clasp here. As we reach the knuckles down, we lift the chest. We also lift the hip points. Breathe in. Exhale to hinge forward, keeping your bind. Nice, strong glute on the left side. Drive through the front foot. And then warrior three, any expression with the arms. Start to shift the weight forward as you float that back heel up. Reach the heel back, reach the crown of the head forward. Can we bring the right and the left hip in line here as we hug the navel in? So really think about the ball of the foot and the heel of that standing leg driving into the mat. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Shoulder blades reach down the back. One more inhale and exhale. Back foot down, high lunge, the ball of the back foot. Option to come into reversed namaste. So bringing the palms to touch here in a prayer position. Again, good for you if you can do it. If not, you can bring hands to hips as we move into pyramid. So breathe and lift through the chest. Exhale, straighten the front leg, bow forward. And then either keeping that reverse namaste or hands down or hands to hips. Press through the front heel gently, drag back. So it's just an energetic drag back to light up legs. Left hip a little bit back, right hip a little bit forward. Can we even out the pelvis? Lengthening breath in. Softening breath out. Inhale here. And full breath out. Release the Namaste if you have it. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Vinyasa or down dog. We'll meet in down dog. From down dog, inhale, gaze forward. And exhale to travel up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift to breathe in. And fold, breathe out. Hands to heart, chair pose, bend the knees, sink the hips. So nice, easy chair pose here. Not getting too crazy. And then let's root down through the left foot strongly. Float the right knee up, one leg to Dawson. We can straighten out that left leg. Rotate the right knee to the right. Find tree pose. So bring that left or that right foot to the inner left thigh. And then press the foot into the leg, leg into the foot. Really feel outer hips working to squeeze into the center, everything nice and strong. This is a great place to stay. Or we'll work through another balancing pose, hand to big foot, two different ways. So we can bring peace fingers to big toe or outside edge of the foot and then start to extend that leg forward. I like to bring left hand to left hip. And then let's really flex that right foot, press the heel away from you and lift the chest. Keep driving down through your left foot. Breathe in here, lengthen the spine. Option to rotate that right leg out to the right. What? You might even fall over. I'm just waiting for it to happen for me. All right, keep reaching through the heel, lifting the chest, reaching and lifting. Hug the core in nice and strong. Take a full breath in. And exhale to slowly return from two tree pose and then back down to two feet. Shake it out. 
All right, okay, second side. So right foot roots down. Let's lift that left knee up into one leg Tadasana. Rotate left knee out to the side. Make that connection, foot to thigh, tree pose. Hug foot to leg, leg to foot. Nice level hips. We're not twisting open one way or the other. We're nice and oriented forward. And then we can stay here or we can hook piece fingers around big toe or hand around the outside edge of the foot. Right hand to hip, let's extend that left foot forward. Then again, it doesn't matter how much you have the leg straight, it can be really bent here. Take a full breath in, you can also play with this by grabbing the knee. And then we'll slowly start to rotate it out to the side. So foot starts to move to the left, again, you might have one side that's more flexible than the other. And I'll show you what it looks like if you're grabbing your knee instead. Keep the chest lifting and the legs straightening, full breath in. And then slowly back through tree pose, foot to thigh, and then feet on the ground. Shake it out. So you will either work through that little series again on the right leg, or I'll guide us through a shape called Bird of Paradise. It's so fun. So for Bird of Paradise, let's come down to a forward fold. Press the bum back, release down here. Bring the left hand underneath your face and the right hand to your low back. Lift through the chest, breathe in, and then turn the chest to the right as you exhale. So we're in a little forward fold twist here. Bend your left knee, right leg straightens as you turn the chest. And then with that right hand, start to sneak it around the, from just the low back towards, towards the other side of your body. And then let's bend that left elbow. Can we sneak the left arm underneath the left thigh and hook onto our right hand? So I'll show you what that looks like from the back if you're curious. And then we'll root down really strongly through our right foot. You might even heel toe that right foot into the center if you took a wider stance. Start to lift the left heel up. Then lift that left foot up. Stand your ass up. Bring that foot with you. Maybe we're standing up. Maybe we can straighten the leg out. Bird of paradise. Keep the chest lifted, the spine long, active. You can hug that left leg in towards your body. Maybe we can straighten the leg. Maybe not. Not happening for me. Breathe in. Laugh at yourself if you fall over as part of it. And then only when you're ready, we'll slowly start to come back down. So you can bend into that right knee, bring that left foot back down, just how we started, release the bind, shake it out. Second side, right hand underneath the face, bend the right knee, left hand to low back. Inhale, lift the chest forward. Exhale, spin the chest to the left, little forward fold twist. And then that left hand, We'll start to bind around the back. Right elbow bends and sneaks underneath the right leg. Maybe we bind right hand to left hand. Now we wanna shift the weight back into the left foot. So get that left foot into the center in a nice strong position. Drive through the ball of the foot and the heel. Float the right heel up. Maybe you float the whole right foot and don't even think about it. Just stand up, stand up, stand up. Squeeze left glute strong into the center. This is my not so great side. Float your chest. Maybe we straighten the leg. Maybe not. Give a couple breaths here to play. This side just ain't happening for me. Find whatever experience of the shape is anytime. Again, no, ever, no need to sit around. You can find something that works for your body. Let's take one more breath in. And then exhale out the way we came. We slowly bring that right foot back down. Release the bind. Shake it out. If you took the other series, let's all meet in a forward fold, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Vinyasa or skip it, downward facing dog. We'll work through just one more sequence. Option to get into one more bird of paradise or I'll have another option. So last sequence and then we're going to be cooling down. From down dog, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through. 
Back heel down, warrior two, inhale, rise. Stay for your exhale, find your focus here. Inhale to reach forward. Side angle pose, exhale, right hand to the inside of the right foot. Let's bind the left arm around the small of the back. Option to take your full bind here or skip it. Take a breath in, keep the chest broad. Option to move into Bird of Paradise so you can step the left foot up and then shift the weight into the left foot and lift that right foot up. Or we'll root down strongly through the right foot and work into bound half moon or regular half moon. So you can start to shift your weight forward. Maybe you float the leg up. Maybe you fall over. Maybe we just take a regular half moon instead. But give it a shot wherever you are, either Bird of Paradise, a bound half moon, or our regular half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Take a full breath in wherever you are. And a full breath out. One more inhale, Birds of Paradise catch up. And then Warrior Two will slowly step it back, rise up. Flip your front palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, vinyasa, or skip it, downward facing dog. Last side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Warrior two, back heel down, inhale, rise. And then bring that right hand to bind around the small of the back. Inhale to reach forward. Exhale, side angle pose, left hand to the inside of the left leg. That's just today's variation. Option to take a full bind here if you'd like. Keep the chest broad. Any variation of these postures, okay? Take a breath in here. Option to step the right foot up, move into Bird of Paradise, or we can root down strongly through that front foot, start to shift forward into Bound Half Moon, or we can say forget the bind and take a regular Half Moon. So for in that bound half moon is a really freaking hard pose. Root down strongly through the front foot and you can start to shift. Maybe you just start to lift that back leg up like a centimeter at a time. Really focus your gaze. If you can do it, kudos, send me a picture. Wherever you are, find your breath, find your center, breathe in. Full breath out. Take one more inhale, Bird of Paradise, catch up. And then Warrior Two, exhale, softly step it back. Whee! Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. Final vinyasa of class, take it or leave it. I'll leave it. All right. Let's meet in a tabletop position, hands and knees. And then we'll come to a kneeling position here, standing up on the knees. Working into a camel pose just to get a little back bend action in and to open up the front of the thighs that were uh, really shortened in that sequence. So let's bring the right, the both hands to the low back. And then think about lengthening the tailbone down as we lift the hip points up, lift through the chest, and then using the strength of the hamstrings and the glutes, just slightly lean back here. Keep the chest lifted. Option to stay right here, or maybe you start to walk the hands towards the heels. Any variation camel pose, you can always take a bridge if this is not feeling good for you. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Stay here as long as you'd like. When you're ready, we can bring the hands back to the low back and slowly lift ourselves up with strength. We'll come down to the bum. Bring the legs out long in front of you. And a little bit of a twist here. So bend the right knee 
And you can either keep the right foot planted outside of the left knee or you can cross that right foot outside of the left knee. Hook the left arm around the right knee, right fingertips back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, spin the chest and the gaze towards the right. Maybe your gaze goes over your right shoulder. Use the inhales to find length. And the exhales to find depth, if more depth is available. On your next inhale, bring your gaze forward. And exhale, unwind. Right leg long. Left knee in, and then let's cross that left foot over the right or keep it where it is. Right arm to left knee, left fingertips back. Inhale, find length. Exhale, twist. And keeping that pattern of inhale, lengthening from your bum to the crown of your head. And with your exhale, maybe sinking a little more into the twist, but never overdoing it, never pushing past your limit. Make sure we're not rounding into the upper and the low back. Keep length. On your next breath in, we'll gaze forward. On the exhale, unwind. Nice work, y'all. Let's bring both feet to plant, knees bent. And let's roll down to our backs. Hug the right knee in, figure four, cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh. You can let that knee press open. You might grab around the back of the left thigh, hug the legs in towards the chest. I like to flex the feet here just to keep a little activeness. And we'll get three deep breaths on your own, just sinking back into the steady inhales and exhales. Welcoming some ease into your body into your mind. Final breath in. And gently release the shape. Second side, we'll hug the left knee in, cross the left ankle over right thigh, option to keep the foot down or grab around the back of the right leg, hug the legs in. Maybe there's a little activeness as we flex the feet. Relax the shoulder blades, relax the head. And then right here, three deep conscious breaths in, fully present. shape. Hug both knees in, give yourself a big squeeze, a big hug. Thank yourself for showing up to breathe and move and maybe you tried something new on your mat today. Let's give yourself a big squeeze and rock side to side. You might even hug forehead to knees. Maybe you kiss right knee and left knee. And then if there's any final shapes you need to make, a happy baby, shoulder stand, anything your body's still craving, welcome it in. When you're ready, Shavasana. We'll let the legs and the arms come out long, or you'll find whatever shape is the most comfortable for your body.
familiar body resting on the ground. Deepen your breath. And feel free to stay here relaxing as long as you like. You're ready to seal practice. You might press up to seated or stay on your back. We'll bring one hand to the belly and one hand to the heart. We'll seal the class with a final breath together. Take a full inhale in through the nose, fill up. Open mouth, share your breath. Thank you all so much for practicing. Namaste.